what we're talking about is how I make, how I made the ad timer. You've seen it before. You've hung out here quite a bit and you'll be like hanging out. We'll all be hanging out. And all of a sudden it'll be like, Oh no, the ad is coming. Panic. <laughs> And this will come up Hello, and you'll be like, dang, peasants. that's a cool countdown. Squid, where'd you get that countdown? So the countdown as it's counting down is actually this cool little script. It's a script, an advanced timer LUA script. Now installing these is a little bit tricky. So when you get this advanced timer, installing a script is a bit different. It's not like when you download this, it's not like you double click it and it installs. It doesn't work like that <clears throat> in order to, un, to, in order to install a script, you got to go up here to your tools and go to scripts Bloop. and you get this nifty little menu and you do a plus and then, you know, you select wherever your script file is at. Say it's like it, you're downloaded. I put it in this obviously very deeply buried folder that no one can find, which is a mistake. <clears throat> but that's where my advanced timer script is. And I just add the script and boom, you get these cool little menu and you can set it to whatever timer you want. However long you want it, 60 seconds, what format gives you a little, it's even cool. It gives you a little key on how to set up the format to your timer. It's not bad, not bad. So once you install the script, um, what it wants you to do is like, you'll, you know, you set down the countdown, you set the seconds, and then it says text source. So what you have to do is you create a text source like this. And when you link it to the text source, it automatically does the, you know, it does its whole thing. You choose what font you want. You choose the you know, colors, you can customize it however you like it. And that's just the LUA script. That's just the script for your timer. That's just the cool on screen timer. That's just for the visual on screen. Now you can probably do it in other ways where you could just have like a text message come up like, Oh, Hey, by the way, it's, it's, Oh, you can't see it. Here you could go, uh, by the way, here you go. It's coming. You know what I mean? Or, you know, like that, you don't have to have a timer. If you don't want to, if you don't want to run a script, you don't have to run a script for that little timer. You could just have it just be a message like that. Capitalism is coming or, you know, that is coming and give you a warning, right? So you get that part set up. Bloom, 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 bloom. Now the next part is you need streamer bot streamer dot bot. It's free. It's, you know, you can, you can download it and do amazing things with your stream. <laughs> and one of these things is this, when you hit, when you set up your ad schedule on Twitch, I run my ads once an hour. I run three minute ads once an hour. And when you set the schedule in Twitch, it will do that every 60 minutes. It'll run a three minute ad, right? Well, what the way you can control the ads and have a timer for it is that you can run an ad maybe just a minute before Twitch does, and it will circumvent the one that Twitch was going to put on. So it'll be like, Oh, you ran an ad. So we're not going to run your scheduled ad for another hour. Right? So basically it will, Twitch will adjust to you automatically running your own ads. So if you have an ad button, just an ad button and you ran your own ad, it would auto uh, Twitch's ad scheduler would adjust appropriately to that ad that you run. Right? So <clears throat> what you need to do is make three different functions. You need one to detect when your stream has started one to detect when your stream has ended and then one just to run the sequence for when you, your ad is about to come on and the warning you want to show. Right? So when you want, what you want to do is set 
a command for a streamer bot to detect when your stream has started. And when it has, you know, you got to insert all this stuff here, copy it, put it in, and then select the action of, you know, stream started. So that when it detects that your stream has started, it runs this command. And so what I have it do is it OBS uh, streamer bot will detect the stream started, wait a few seconds, and then run a three minute ad right when the stream starts so that Twitch's timer is reset to an hour. And then it starts an auto run ads timer here. Now this is, this is the different part here. You go to settings and you have timed actions. The timed actions is how you is the actual ad timer here. I have this set up to be 57 minutes. 3,420 seconds is 57 minutes. So every 57 minutes, I do a run commercial function. It does a run commercial uh, command. And that's where it will circumvent Twitch's ad, insert my own, and run every 57 minutes to make sure that it's always ahead of Twitch's timer so that Twitch, so that I can control when the ads run, not, ne not necessarily Twitch. So then you go over here, it starts the timer. You go over here, you run your sequence and it could be anything you want. For me, I have a countdown and a little message, right? And I also have it send a message to the chat. So that we got a chat Hello, message and we have an on screen message. And then once it starts, I have a little countdown in the, in the chat three, two, one, and then it makes the States go away and it has a, uh, in progress. Oops, this one in progress. And it runs a three minute ad. We wait three minutes. We get to the end. It says, welcome back. And then that's your, that's your ad sequence. You preempt the Twitch ad. That's right. You preempt it. And every time you preempt an ad with Twitch's ad, it just moves Twitch's timer, uh, you know, back up so that you're, you're, you're always ahead of it. And this is how you control it. Now, the problem is you have to make sure that when your stream ends, you have a stopped sequence to stop your run ad timer because this run ad timer will start as soon as you open up your bot. If this is enabled, as soon as you open up your bot, it'll start running the your, 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 your timer. You don't want that to happen. You want to make sure that when your stream ends, it disables your timer. And when your stream starts, it starts your timer. So then your timers will all be in sync with when you go live and when, um, Twitch's timers will be in coordinated with yours. And that is how you make a Twitch timer with streamer bot for your ads for your ads, which is complicated. It's got a lot of stuff in there, but streamer bot definitely is. <clears throat> an effective way to circumvent those pesky ads. So everyone gets a warning, a warning. And you don't have to deal with so much surprises. Yeah, that's that. And if there's any more questions or if you guys have anything you want to know, let me know. If you like this video, click subscribe and I'll catch you next time.